morning, everybody. This morning, we're delivering this bundle under the tarp here into Steinbach. And then we're delivering the rest of this into Winnipeg. So two stops. Just went inside to wash my hands, grab some breakfast orange juice. Whew, my hands are cold now. I washed them and then I went outside. That's cold. It's another new day, glad you're here. It's gonna be great. Look at us go. What a good night. Nice, nice good sleep. Ready to deliver some freight and go pick up some new freight. Kind of neat, I get to deliver to my hometown, my home region, right here in Steinbach. They're gonna take this hardwood lumber off the tail of my trailer. Somewhere back here, I better not get stuck back here. He said I could get back here, so. Oh, look at this, it opens up in here. Am I gonna be able to turn around though? I've never been in here. I don't usually deliver to my home area. <laughs> I'm usually out elsewhere. I guess this is, uh, this is the only place to turn around. We're gonna have to make a tight corner. I think there's enough room though. Where do I go for receiving? This is where he told me to go. He knows I'm back here. I just talked to him on the phone. Okay, this isn't that bad. It looked tighter than it was. The old Volvo can turn on a dime. This, this isn't even the tightest she can turn. There we go. See, I'm gonna face ourselves this way. Talk the receiver before I take my tarps off. And that'll be that. Oh man. It'd be nice if I could have a camera crew, eh? Hired so that I can uh, have them film me all kinds of different angles when I make sharp corners like that. That'd be fun. I'd have to make. Uh, I have to, I'd have to have a lot more subscribers to be able to afford that. <laughs> And just like that, the freight was gone. In there. So, isn't this kind of like a bunch of garbage? This is a bunch of pallets that have been disassembled and put into or built into what they call L brackets, L something. They're, they're, they're put to put stuff in there, I think. It's all just a bunch of pallet wood. I brought this from Wisconsin up to Canada. I could have built these myself in a couple of hours. But hey, I didn't want to say anything. They paid me to bring them like, what was a thousand miles? <laughs> okay, I'm just happy to be working. Alright, let's blow this popsicle stand. I actually had a buddy, Justin. We called him Ginter. Uh, a year, well, he lives around here somewhere, so I don't know if he still works here or not, but I had a buddy who worked here for many years at this place. Oh. Oh. Am I gonna make this corner? I might have to back up and take it wider. I am definitely gonna have to back up and take it wider. Okay, all right. Take two. That definitely didn't work. One second here. One second. Tracker Josh made a boo boo. He made an oopsie. But it's fixable, don't worry. And I didn't hit anything. Not yet, anyway. <laughs> Back up, take it a little bit wider. Once again, this is 
one of those uh, receiving yards that wasn't designed for a 75 foot unit. But that's okay, we made it work. I got in here so I can get out. Take your real wide. Come on, Trucker Josh. Come on, bud. You can do it. Again, I wish I had a camera crew behind me. I can show you, but we made it. I'm only one man, I'm a one man show, guys. I do what I can. You just have to trust me. We didn't hit anything. We got some action going on in Steinbeck. There go the Mounties. down on McPhillips Street here in Winnipeg. I gotta make a quick pit stop on my way to deliver. It's right on the way. Just had to take a little bit of a different route. My cousin has a friend that uh, makes masks, or is, is making masks for people who need it. Uh, reusable ones. She had two available, so she left it outside, somewhere outside her place around here and uh, I'm gonna go pick them up. Kilometer, turn right on Inkster Boulevard, RTD so, 25. There will be one for me and one for Brett. It's really nice that uh, she did that for us. I haven't been to this area this well then again I've been here. Britt used to live in this area of the city. She grew up in this area. See, most people are wearing masks, yeah. And I don't have any. I ordered some like two months ago before all of this got big and they still haven't come. So this way we got a reusable one. It's got a little pocket built Inkster in apparently for meters. a filter. Turn right on. Inkster Boulevard. Yeah, I know, I know, I know where I'm going. This feels like home. It's not my home. I never thought of Winnipeg as my home city, but I guess it's the capital of my province, so I spent a lot of time here. I know the city really well. When I was younger, my first uh, delivery job was delivering pizza in the southeast corner of the city. Turn right on Inkster Boulevard, RTE 25. When I had first got my license, I loved to drive around and cruise, right? And I would always, ooh, nice pickup on the right. Ooh, nice, nice. And, uh, oh, I better stop here so this van can get through this. What was I talking about? Oh, yeah, when I, I always like to just cruise around Winnipeg, right? So I got to know the streets really well. So these are the masks. And they come, like I said, with a built-in uh, little pocket here where you can buy a filter and you put the filter in there. I like this design. I think that's the one I'm going to wear. Unless if Brit takes it. But uh, we have to let these sit for three days before we use them anyway. Uh, just for, uh, you know, make sure that everything is, you know, everything that's going on now, everything's weird. Gotta let everything sit for three days. Can't live on surfaces for more than three days, I believe. But uh, this one's uh, the skulls and the pirates on it. It's pretty cool. I think Britt's really gonna like that. <laughs> So yeah, um, I don't know if she watches my videos or not. I don't know if my cousin who uh, lined this up for me watches my videos or not, or if you're watching this one, but just want to say thank you for this. Uh, these are hard to come by, and uh, it was really nice for her to make these for us. Uh, so really appreciate it. Uh, I'm going home for a couple of days now. Uh, no, for tonight and tomorrow. I gotta leave on Saturday with this new load. So what we're gonna do is we're going to just uh, let these masks sit for three days, just in case if there's anything on them uh, that they can uh, be totally clean and whatnot. You know, we just gotta be careful. And then after that, on my next trip, I'll be able to use it. So I know I'm touching it with my hands, but I have hand sanitizer, don't worry. And I disinfect everything I touch on a regular basis. 
but I don't think there's anything on. I, I trust her, but you know, you never know in these times. You never know in these times. Crazy days we're living in, and I uh, never thought I'd be wearing a mask at work. But here we are, 2020, having a blast. It's a good thing I just got these masks too, because a message just came through here from uh, the big guys, the big guys at the office. Uh, some of our customers now are requiring all drivers to wear a mask when we're on their property and in their facilities. Uh, and if they don't have a mask or some sort of face covering, they're going to be rejected and asked to leave. So it's a good thing I just got these masks. So keeping my options available to pick up freight. And there she was. 34,000 pounds. This is going down to Southern Illinois. Somebody down there needs whatever this is. So we've got four chains on the front, four on the back. That's more than enough for this. We've got a strap over the forks over here. Keep that from rattling around. Huh. Should be fun. It's a nice weight, 34,000 pounds. It's a nice weight, not too heavy, not too light. Enough to keep me planted on the ground, but not too much to drag me down. And the fuel economy should be pretty good because the air is just gonna sail around it. So it's a good load. And I was also just told by my wife that these masks that I got today, uh, when we get home, we can actually wash them. She's got this special little bag that she puts delicate stuff in and we can put it through a gentle cycle on the wash. That way we can use them right away. I'm going out to, uh, apparently my friend is moving tomorrow. Uh, so they need help moving all their stuff, at least their heavy stuff. So while we're moving stuff around and stuff and uh, going in and out of the house, I can have my mask on. And uh, it'll help also because I have a slight allergy to cats and they have a cat. So it'll serve more than one purpose. Well, here's today's project. Get all of this junk outside and out of here. So this is our master bedroom project that we're working on. Uh, this is what it used to be. 